Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. My name is Karsten. So, let's head to the Mangle Grove and see how things go. I see another spot we can grab here. Avoid these guys. I have fought all of you guys. In fact, I can probably check here, can't I? Um. Well, hang on. Don't all you guys go chasing me like that. Go to info. Okay, yeah, looks like I have bought everyone in this area. All right, Mingle Grove. Hello, convenient shop. Ah. At least several things I want to get that I can't afford. Have him stick with. Oh man, that heavy ring is nice. Got seven more, I can get that. Which I think I might try great swords. I've. Well, I may as well sell the extra one of these, honestly. Probably only going to have one person in the party using boomerangs at any given time. And we may as well sell the plain clothes, honestly. just I don't know they might come in handy for some reason I just got this feeling that I'm not a hundred percent certain where I could buy them so I'll hold off go ahead and buy this Equip it. Now, I want to go into this and transfer to the equipment bag.
Can't quite get that yet. But you know what? Got these things. May as well use them. I've heard that you can reset these at some point anyway, and in fact that once you get to where you can reset it, it's resetting is trivial. So I'm not too worried about it. Go ahead and grab this. Get to where we can do more stuff here and... I think we'll go ahead and grab this because it leads to other things. That's interesting. You have to learn four surrounding skills to get that. What about this here? Okay, yeah, just four of the skills around it to get it. Interesting. Do some more fighting here to try to get some money to maybe get that boomerang upgrade because that is real tempting let me see how much money we get from fighting some of these guys oh hey slime Same ones that I fought before, or are they just similar looking? Another one bites the dust. I can probably take a look by seeing how many of them I defeated. I look in here into info defeated monsters. Yeah, okay, so yeah, those are the same things we fought before. Four more types of monsters here. Hitting the wrong button when I'm trying to hit these guys. Oh, hey, got a slime drop.
That wasn't too hard. Alright, so we got more skill points. This Eric should be close as well. 143 gold. And not really gaining gold as fast as I would have liked. I think I will go ahead and be fighting these guys as we go. Oh, poison. That's no good. Um, I'm going to try this. See what it does. Well, that did do a lot of damage. And the next question is... Nice! Is poison cured after battle? See is still being poisoned, so it kind of looks like it is. Get confirmation here in a moment. No poison is not cured after battle. Okay. And now we're both poisoned. Okay. Probably going to start avoiding the bubble slimes. Oh, one of those weird slug things. lips, huh? Another one bite Okay, we got a trophy for Preemptive attacks. That's another slime. I'd rather not fight you guys. You keep poisoning me. Not sure what horrible things these guys will do to me. like damage so far, but that's what I thought about the slime, too. Let's see what's up this way. Mushroom guys. And, uh, all area up here I can climb. We're gonna be a chest or something. something. And it it's useful. I would 
would have liked the chest. Oh, wait, 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 there's a chest. With a mini metal. All right. Now yeah, we're going to object to those. I'm not sure how long it's going to be before I can actually do anything with them. I don't think there's another side path over this way that was partially blocked off, but... Slime here with them. Well, I know. Ah. Well, I know what we're attacking first. Heal yourself. Well, go ahead and just attack. And then we'll cure the poison after the battle. if I got a spell or ability or something that let me cure poison. Hello, what's this? So the cow tells weather. Okay. Hey there, chest. Empty, huh? Can't go over there right now. Let's continue on across here. Ah, this is convenient. Look at that! A campsite! And just when we needed one! Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yep, yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Behold, the fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. 
forging ahead with a fun size forge a beginner's guide. Where were you carrying that? There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. All right, crafting. Let's see. Try making stagger. Probably would be helpful. Okay. Hammer away at each individual area to fill up the blue gauge next to it. Aim to get every gauge into the green zone. Praise do. Probably turn out brilliantly. Alright. Okay, yeah, I already did that. Perfection! Divine Dagger plus three. Nice. Two perfectionist pearls. You can use these to attempt to rework the item with the aim of doing an even better job. Don't worry about wearing your hardware works of art, even if you fail to rework something you won't lose it. And if you succeed you'll come away with something truly special. Huh, okay. ahead and try making this as well. Success. Only plus two. Still. Artisanal pretty and bandana. Artisanal trading togs. Interesting that uh, those can be reworked or, you know, I can make uh, fancy versions of those uh, DLC clothes. Now, let's try re reworking this to see what we get. Re rework the copper chopper. Oh, my. Uh, 
Uh, another one there might put it too far. So we'll go with this. And now it's a plus three. But we did lose both the pearls, so we only get pearls when we're making something new. Okay. Everything went according to plan. So we can use it anytime there's a campfire. And we got an award for getting a plus three item. Get a couple plus three items, actually. Now let me make sure that, uh,. Transfer that to the equipment bag. For that to the equipment bag. the Divine Dagger, Eric's Inventory, and we'll go ahead and equip it, and switch to the Boomerang if there's a really huge group of enemies or something. I thought we... I'm not going to equip it now, but I'll have it handy. Okay, now, what do we have here? That's where we need to end up going. Let me check this hut out, though. Ah, can't read the book. Comics of scale, scale shields, and suits of scale armor. That's pretty useful. In fact, let me see about making some scale armor. Because that sounds awfully useful. Check around here real quick. Alright. We want to forge items, armor, steel armor. Okay, we do have enough to make two of these. Ah, but only can make one because Eric can't equip it. But we definitely are going to make one here. Because that is a Significant boost in defense.
All right. Good enough. Anything else might risk uh, going over and running into problems. Plus one. Good enough for now. So let's go to Those reduce our maximum HP slightly, but vastly increases defense. But let's wear that. And I think that's going to be it for the moment. I hope you have been enjoying. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.